Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a plant model. In this video, we will see for the same plant model how we can implement the controller model. And this controller model will be used to control the plant, which is basically maintaining a constant distance between the front vehicle and the vehicle that we are driving. So let's get started with the controller modeling. First of all, we need to delete all the inputs as these inputs will be provided by the controller. To create a controller model, we need to type chat and that will bring a state flow chat into the Simulink canvas. Currently, there is no input and output going in and out of this particular chat. So let's name it as controller model and let's design this controller model. When you enter inside the chart, it will appear as a yellow background. Let's drag one state, which is by default, we can name it as off state and one more state that we can name it as on state. So there are two possible states for this particular feature, which could be either an on stage or an off stage that could be transition between the off to on and on to off. Here we are considering a switch SW which is shown over here and when this value is equal to 1 then we will be transitioning from OP to ON stage. If the value is 0 then we are transitioning from ON to OP state. So here are the requirements that we have. So we will be linking these requirements one by one into our model. So first requirement need to be highlighted and then you need to right click and go to the requirement tab and in that you can select the option of word because we have the word document in our hand so we need to link all the requirements and need to verify whether the requirements are being linked or not again we need to do it for the other state which is uh, the switch off transition when sw equal to equal to zero and we also verified like all these requirements are linked now let's go to the second requirement if the switch is turned off then the feature should be turned off so that is being linked now to the off requirement suppose there is any fault in the system then uh, it should not go from on to up to on state so this is the condition where uh, we are considering that there should not be any fault and we need to reverse the logic for the on to off state we need to define it in the form of or because uh, if any of the fault is happening then the particular transition will not take place like from off to on it will not happen and if it is on also it should go to off so fs represent over here is the front sensor and rs represent over here is the rear sensor so both sensors should be fault free then the operation will happen if there is fault in the front sensor the feature should be not activate uh, this is the requirement that we are linking so all the requirements are linked to the transition now now inside on state there should be some operation that should be going on so suppose the vehicle is uh, the feature is on in the vehicle then in that case the there could be some modes we are defining here the shape mode first because uh, if there is any fault in the system then it should enter into the shape mode at the beginning itself if the brake pedal is not responding the vehicle should enter into a safe mode if anything is not working proper then the vehicle should enter into the safe mode so here we are linking the requirement and also we need to define the condition like brake br underscore f if it is equal to one or acceleration fault like the accelerator pedal is not working then also it should enter into the safe mode so if the accelerator pedal is not working the vehicle should enter into the safe mode so this this also need to be highlighted and then we can link the same requirement to this transition requirement link to word selection now as it is not having any default transition because uh, we have already kept a condition before entering inside any state so we need a default transition to happen so there could be uh, one possible 
mode that, that could be uh, a working stage or it could be a safe state so let's make a transition to the working state now the error disappeared because we have we are now able to directly enter into the working stage if any of the failure in the gear then the vehicle should enter into a speed which is not greater than uh, 5 km per hour so that also we need to design okay when the feature is on it should maintain the distance given by the driver now we need to drag some more state which we can keep inside the working state so let's drag and mention the name of the state as acceleration so first is the acceleration state if the vehicle feature is working then it will have multiple states out of which acceleration state is one of them one could be a brake state another could be an idle state where it will be doing nothing one more state could be a gear fault state if the vehicle is operating and there is a fault in the gear system then it should uh, be detected as a gear failure so let's make it as gr underscore fail which is representing this requirement so let's link this requirement to the same right click on the state and link requirement to the word selection so this is done now we need to make transition between the acceleration and brake so this should be satisfying some condition usually the conditions are being mentioned inside a square bracket and here d is representing the distance between the vehicles and uh, if it is smaller than 2 then it should brake if it is greater than 3 then it should go to the idle state and if there is any fault in the gear system which is represented with the help of the input uh, gr underscore f then it will enter into fail state again if the distance is greater than 4 meter then the vehicle should again accelerate so while simulating this particular model we are getting a symbol wizard where we need to define everything whether it could be a local or it could be a parameter or it could be an input so we need to define all these things for our variables that we have defined inside this state flowchart now if we simulate then we will not receive any error and we also got some input and output so here um, if we see what are the variables that are available in the state flow then we can see it in the model explorer and we will be able to manipulate all these things from here also so df is not the output so we manipulated it now we need to send some output from this particular state flow chart so that the simulating model will receive those signals and will manipulate based on that so as we already seen in the state flow series uh, that could be different stages which could be entry exit and during in case you are interested in watching that video uh, please look into that series here we are defining x is equal to 0 0.5 which is the 50 percent of acceleration and b also equal to 0 0.4 in the brake state where it will be applying some brake and it will be happening while entering into the state in idle condition x will be equal to zero and it also should be mentioned as an entry condition or entry operation when you enter into the idle state x will be assigned as zero next b equal to zero here we are making both brake and acceleration as zero and uh, when we enter into the acceleration stage we need to make brake as also zero so that's how we can operate so here we made brake as zero and in the brake state we made acceleration as zero and here we are making f equal to one which will be mentioning like whether there is a gear fault or not outside uh, this particular state flow chart so G gr underscore f equal to one means there is a gear fault and it will be shown outside now we will get the symbol wizard and we need to mention whatever the things we have to find now as the output yeah and now if we see outside then we will be having this gear fault brake and acceleration as the output from this controller model as we already know that we 
need to uh, make the design uh, look a little better so we usually use the go to end from uh, system uh, of blocks so what basically it will be doing it will be establishing connection between the design uh, input and output so here x is the acceleration so we uh, tagged it with the acceleration and uh, then br is the brake uh, which is uh, the output of this controller and then we are taking uh, individual from block by dragging that arrow and we are making connection this is how we should make connection uh, to make the model look simpler and not messy we can also add a stop simulation uh, button or stop simulation block so whenever there is a gear fault the feature will be stopped automatically now we need to define some of the inputs into this particular system so let's zoom out a little bit and uh, drag some constant block and some switches like manual switch or a, and a constant block and make the inputs uh, as we desire by connecting them with uh, or through the switch uh, with the help of the constant block so one constant block will be turning on the feature which could be represented with the help of value one and another could be with zero which is switch off or feature is off so we need to define by double clicking on the constant block so the default one we are mentioning over here as off state so the upper one we mentioned as the off state now we need to organize this particular block properly so that we can connect multiple switch and constant blocks and these inputs are being connected with the help of the switch and it is uh, getting the uh, input from the constant block so that suppose sometimes if we if we want to change the value then we can just double click on the manual switch and it will change the value this way we can manipulate individual input and we can see output from this particular state flow chart which is basically a controller model so now we have connected all the switch and over here if you see the distance is coming from the plant model so this is the area from which the distance is coming and it is going as an input to the controller model and here we are naming all the signals properly so all these signals are name being named properly and uh, we are organizing the blocks in a proper way so that it will look uh, a little good so let's analyze what basically happening uh, the plant model is receiving the acceleration as the input and the brake as the input here it is pairing the um, distance that is being currently calculated when the feature is on so this is about the plant model and the distance is uh, going to the controller model over here and based on that uh, and plus the additional inputs that we are receiving uh, with the help of the switch and the constant block we are manipulating the brake and acceleration pattern so this brake and acceleration pedal are going to the corresponding go to and from system to the plant model and the entire control system over here is behaving like a closed loop control system now we are ready with the design for the controller let's see what are the additional features that we will be getting while creating this design from MATLAB and we will also generate the code from this particular model and see how this code uh, looks like we will also generate some reports from this particular design we will also go for a um, web view generation uh, from this particular model and see like how this is uh, behaving uh, like how you can see uh, the model uh, details uh, without having matlab in your pc so all that are coming up uh, in the uh, future videos so in case you are liking our channel uh, or the content please consider subscribing so that you will not miss the updated videos from our channel and stay updated to the content in case you have any comment or suggestion please share it in the comment box so that 
we can improve your experience of learning MATLAB in this channel. So happy learning MATLAB. Have a good day.